me, Heather, and Bella. Woo! <laughs> Bella! That's that. There you are, Bella. We are off on a, another adventure, and it is already fall here. The colors are changing on the trees, and I got Heather here now instead of Jim, and she doesn't smell like Jim. She doesn't snore like Jim. <laughs> She's far, far prettier. <laughs> Yay. Even Bella, far prettier. It smells better. Good girl. Always an adventure. Canoeing? Camping? Okay. Good girl. <laughs> and we're up. We've got a bit of a tailwind. We are lucky and it is a nice day. Beautiful. Uh, so far so good. It's just freaking beautiful here. Gorgeous, eh? What a day. Feels good to get uh, on the water, get our paddles wet. We're just on Madamagassi Lake. It's absolutely beautiful. And we're heading to our campsite for night number one. Good girl. We've got an epic tailwind. We're very thankful for it right now. If we were going in the other direction, um, we probably wouldn't be so happy. But we're just sailing along here, whipping along here. We're just ducked behind a little island and um, hopefully when we get to the spa, no one's camped there. Here's the fire pit and the grill. Okay. Hey, girl. Huh. Cool. Okay. So we just got to camp night one to celebrate. Taking a swig of fireball. For two of us in one tent, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's really nice. We got this nice pine needle floor under us. Yeah. Pine needle bed. What are you doing? You going swimming? You swimming? Check out the point. Beauty. helping clear out some of the roots around camp. <laughs> Get those roots. You don't want any root fires dirty. Oh yeah, this is a good spot. Got the tent set up. Woohoo! First task completed. Yeah. What do you think, Gallery? What do you think? Yeah, I, I think that too. That was exactly my thought. It's like we share the same brain, like that was exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Get get a loon that dog is.
Oh. 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 Is it your time down there? <laughs> we just have like my hands. Tonight we're making dinner on our collapsible grill by Biddy Big Q. You can actually adjust the width of the grill, which I absolutely love. You can actually adjust the height of the legs. They all fold down. It's absolutely awesome. And what I love about this is it's lightweight. It's great for taking out on trips and it's just really durable. It's super rugged. It's not flimsy at all. It doesn't warp like all those sort of cheap grills that you get. And yeah, we're gonna make some steaks tonight. Super excited. If you wanna grab one of these grills, the links are in the description of this video. titanium utensils by Biddy Big Q as well. They actually fold down to snap into place and voila. Delicious. Mmm. That's a good steak. Mm. I'm loving it right now. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's really juicy. juicy. Mm -hmm. I like that grill. For how durable it is, it's quite lightweight and it really packs up. I Would know. you like some steak, Bella? Me? Mm -hmm. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Good girl. We've got some of the fatty gristle left. Good girl. <laughs> Clean the dishes. Thank you.
today, but it is a windy one. It's pretty gusty out here. We're gonna be headed down this lake to a place called Paradise Lagoon. It's supposed to be absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if we'll swim, but we might, depending on what it's like once we get there. I'm super excited about that. We're gonna finish up our coffees, pack up our camp, have a little something to eat, and then we're gonna hit the water. Gorgeous day, so we waited for the winds to die a little bit, and we got a nice tailwind, and we're just zipping along here. This stretch where we're heading up the Chinaguchi River, and it says that you can possibly run it going down in high water or line. So we're going up, and we're hoping we can maybe make it up. We can maybe drag up and avoid a portage. We will see. 300 meters and then we will be into what's called the toenail portage that goes up to the Paradise Lagoon. Ever Lodge. So far so good tracking up here, but the next stretch I'm not so sure, but we're already committed. Cool. See how clear the water is coming out of Wolf? We managed to wade up the, the creek. It's definitely not high water, but high enough. There was a deep enough little channel. I didn't even have to really drag it over any rocks at all. And, uh, we are past that section. Okay, in the boat. I think that was worth it. Middle though. The uh, lake we're going to has super clear water and you can already see that, that it's coming out nice and clear. And here, just a short distance up here is the portage we have to take. And um, I think it's going to be beautiful. Well, we are going to check out this lagoon and we're going to come back and do a 240 meter portage. It is a lagoon. Wow, that's gorgeous. Good girl. Woo! Paradise Lagoon. Totally is.
can't stay longer, but it was definitely worth it. Okay, come on. Good job, babe. Especially for the walk back. So if anyone else can tell me what this is, I'd be interested to know. It's something to do with winching logs back in the day. Part of an old dam that gave way. Not sure. Put a log pile, the river's just flowing under me here. is set up for the night. Woohoo! On to making dinner. Bella has decided that she would like to eat that beef jerky for dinner. Where are you off to with that, Bella? Where are you off to? Are you gonna have that beef jerky for dinner? Is that what you're gonna have? You're gonna have this beef jerky? Thank you. Is that, what, what beef jerky is this? 
big teeth. On this trip, I brought my smaller Jackery Explorer 240. Very capable, as you can see. Look at all this stuff I'm charging here. I got two GoPro batteries charging. I got two mirrorless camera batteries charging. I got a cell phone and iPhone 8 charging. Uh, a power bank charging because we charge these up and then put them in our camera case in the day and then we can charge the mirrorless batteries or charge the GoPro batteries on the go. I got a camcorder battery charging and that's charging through an actual AC outlet which is pretty sweet. Into this, you can even plug a power bar and then plug like several ACs into it. So just like your wall jack at home, I put a double banger USB quick charge into that. And so out of that, I'm getting two extra USBs. And over here is where you plug in your solar panel. Jackery makes three different panels. They make a 60 watt, a 100 watt, and a 200 watt panel. Over here, you got your display. Shows you how much juice you have left. You got clean, silent power. At night, I typically bring it into the tent and get everything charged up while we're sleeping. I'm just really impressed, honestly. Like, listen to the noise. Absolutely zero. Nice to be able to bring a lighter weight unit. It's really a great fit to keep our productions going. Bella knows that it's breakfast time. <laughs> She's got her food and then she puts it right by the food barrel lid. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, it is good. <laughs> So this time on Heather's Reviews, we're going to be trying some scrambled eggs. So this one here is scrambled eggs with bacon. And this one here is scrambled eggs with ham and red and green pepper. We're gonna try them out and see which one we like better. We've actually tried another Mountain House breakfast that was called a breakfast skillet that I believe had scrambled eggs, bacon, potato hash browns, onions, and I think even peppers in it. So it had a lot going on in there. These are going to be a little bit different, a little less going on. Maybe they'll be better, maybe worse, I don't know. I think there's going to be a bit of that foamy egg, I feel like I'm on the International Space Station <laughs> type of thing. thing, right? Super easy, and you just pour the hot water in it, stir it up, let it sit, and you do all your camp chores, and you come back and you're like, breakfast is done, yo! No bacon grease, no mess, nothing. No dishes to clean, that's the best part. Some fluffy chunky eggs in there and then here you can see there's a little more going on in there with little diced peppers and ham. So what I like to do is just grab a any random stick off the ground 
and stir everything up with that. And I find the camping experience is generally a little better when you stop caring about things like possibly having a dog piss on stick. It just makes life a little less stressful. Coffee is delicious. Oh, it's so good. What a gorgeous sight. Bella helps clean up the campsite. She she doesn't like little rooted old trees and stumps, so she rips them out of the ground. And it's a very good help for all the campers because we don't like having stumps in our back while we sleep either. Thank you, Bella. And then she beats it up so that all the other ones see what happens if you grow in the tent spot. <laughs> Let's eat some soggy eggs. Hmm. Fun's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty gross, but... It's a weird texture. The flavor's there. When you're doing a lot of hard work, you want something filling, and this is definitely it. Freeze-dried eggs are not my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. If you can get part past the part that it sucks, it's pretty good. As you I've said before. You can get past the part that it Sucks. So get, pretty good. It kind of looks like dog puke a bit. Solid two, two and a half. I'm gonna give the scrambled egg. Some people might like it. I, I'd say I'd give it a three and a half out of five. You can't expect it to be like a restaurant bacon and eggs, right? And look at the people on the package. Like they look super happy. So it, those people probably love this stuff. Look at this package. So this guy's ATVing up by the falls. Yeah. This badass chick is paddleboarding the river solo mm -hmm. so kudos to her this guy's just skydiving this is he pounding the bacon and eggs while he's skydiving this guy's definitely pounding bacon and eggs right now he's he's uh parachuting he's parachuting yeah then this guy's just just having a nice after breakfast nap here just pounded his breakfast just cool artwork and then over there, here look, there's us there's us we're like oh look over there look over there look over there at the walmetty valley this guy's off mountain biking. Are the, is he eating the bacon and eggs while he's biking? That's 100%. crazy. That must be tough. And here's more people. They just jumped out of this helicopter. These people are just flying high after eating their eggs. Is the helicopter burning or crashing? Like, why are they jumping out? <laughs> They're like, mayday, mayday, mayday. That's why this guy parachuted this, out. He's like, I'm gone. I think the pilot was hammering the bacon and eggs I and think crashed the, into this mountain peak. I think if this is the pilot and he's like, I'm out of here. And these people are like, wait for us. Oh, are you going swimming? That was going swimming. Wow. Good girl. Okay. Also have cold ready crisp bacon. Now you can warm this stuff up, but that is a big hassle. Just take the bacon all of it at once and you just shove it in your mouth. <laughs> well, we're gonna hit the water. Like a little trickling stream. Okay, Jake. 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 <laughs> Are you 
heard such good things about Wolf Lake and I've never been. We're just entering it right now. Already looks stunning. It's actually home to the world's largest old growth red pine forest. Which is really neat. Absolutely spectacular. Crystal clear, bluish waters, quartz cliffs, and it's surrounded by a very rugged mountain-like topography. It's also home to one-of-a-kind old growth red pine forest that represents less than 1% of the entirety of that kind of forest that's left in the world. Wolf Lake was supposed to be protected back in 1999 by the government, but it was left out of the Tomogamy Parks cluster. It has since come back into the spotlight because there is a mining claim that would threaten this wilderness area. I think because of the significance of how special this lake is, how beautiful it is, and how it represents the really ecologically significant old growth that there's none left of, that uh, this should be protected. There's just something about it that is absolutely gorgeous. And how lucky are we to be able to just do a little, little bit of paddling, a little bit of driving and uh, just one tiny portage and swim in that world-class lagoon and camp on these lakes and just be in a spot like this. It's just really nice. I was very interested in the fish. This lake is stunning. A destination in itself. Pretty beautiful place. I hope it stays that way and they don't, uh, they don't mess with it. And I love the fact that to access this lake, you either have to do a portage from one direction or a portage from the other direction. So we literally have it all to ourselves right now, which is pretty unbelievable considering it's a beautiful day on a Saturday. Good girl. Stay. Oh, nice is it? What a day. All I've managed to catch so far this trip is one little small bass. In a couple of these lakes, the fishing isn't as good because we're actually not that far from Sudbury. And the big nickel mine wasn't operating properly back during the whole era where there was a lot of acid rain. They've got it dialed in now that's safer amounts, but it was really acidic and it actually killed a lot of the lakes uh, in this area, particularly in Killarney. There's a park, Killarney Provincial Park, so any of the lakes that didn't have a limestone base got acidified and actually killed all the fish. But that's changing now and the fish are coming back. But that's part of where you're finding those crystal clear water. It is completely safe to drink. And uh, again, things are balancing out. So on this lake, there's an old cabin from when there was a ranger stationed in a fire tower and his job was to sit up there and look for forest fires and notify people if he had seen one. Pretty relaxed job. I'd imagine pretty lonesome if you're all by yourself and then you would just go up and sit in a fire tower but he had this cabin to stay in and on this just absolutely gorgeous lake and probably most of it's Job was just being like, no fires today! Floating around on a water noodle out here. There's the old dock for the ranger cabin. Would have been stationed there. Just a very small cabin. Cool, eh? Very cool. I think I'm 
think I'll rather uh, stay in the tent, but you know. <laughs> At one time, this would have been the best place ever. I wonder what that fireplace is like on the inside. A cinder block chimney. Mm -hmm. I mean, it must have been operational not that long ago because it's like looking, it looks, it's got some modern stuff on it there. Would have been stationed there and set to the uh, lookout tower. Look for fires. Dinner. There's a fish. Little one. You got a stick? Good job, babe. Good really job. Bad. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, Woo! Oh that bag weighs more than me. <laughs> Good job. Just like a light at the end of the tunnel. You're a machine. That wasn't so bad though, eh? Apart from the part of it being miserable. Except for the part that it sucked. Except for the part that it sucked. Completely, it wasn't so bad. Except for the part that it sucked the whole time. Yeah. That part. That Except part for sucked. The part that the whole thing was really, really bad. It wasn't really wasn't that bad, all things considered. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now that it's over. All right. We are now on Shinaguchi Lake. It's getting a little late in the day. It's about six o'clock in the evening. The sun's setting. It's gorgeous such a nice temperature out but we're gonna go find a campsite it's gonna be home for the night we can make this work I guess yeah let's camp here sucks on load but I, I like I don't know something about it but I, just, I really like the look of it This is beautiful. Someone just camped here recently. It's a great tent spot. Sometimes on the map, there's campsites marked. There's like a red solid triangle and some there like on this one anyway, they're white. And uh, the white one you think is a crappier one. And that's not always the case. It just means that maybe there's less spots for tents. And this is an example where this is a gorgeous freaking spot. Wow. Look at these vistas. It is absolutely stunningly beautiful. What an evening. It's like so awesome coming in here. Um, felt good doing the portage, good exercise. And now we get to camp here. Like what a reward. This is so nice. Bella likes it here too, don't you Belly? I love it This is so nice. It's so nice. Is that so? I agree. Beautiful sunset. Gorgeous night. Hmm. 
Oh, he got off. Yeah. <laughs> it's so tiny and it just fell off. Come on, big mama. Oh, they're just getting off. They're, too they're small. so little, yeah. Damn it. Oh, yeah, see? They're just biting like crazy. Yeah. It's so exciting, but then they're just nothing. Right. I'm gonna give up. They're just little guys. They're good biters, but um, they just keep getting off. And uh, I don't really want no small fry, so Ted caught a tank bass, so we're gonna eat that guy for dinner. Oh, is it time for your dinner? Is it time for your dinner, Bella? Why don't you bring it over here? Here's a nice rock here. Hey, girl. Good. Mm -hmm. Big old bass. We're gonna shake up this bass that Ted caught with some Cajun fish crisp. The Cajun's my personal favorite. It's got a nice flavor to it and it's delicious. More, 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 more. That's good. I'm gonna use this Bitty Big Q again. Pretty sweet. I love how you can like fold you can fold these out to height, but you can also like bend it so that if you don't want one leg as high as the next, it will just rest perfectly. Look at that. And a spatula or tongs? Mm, tongs is good. <laughs> the trick. It is good. 
to the left. Bella would like some fish. Yeah. Fish for Bella. She didn't catch one, but she wanted to so bad. Good girl. Bella, leave it. Good girl. Good girl, Bella. She likes this spot. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful sight, beautiful lake, amazing cliffs off in the background. Last night the sunset was just incredible, so nice, and then yeah. this morning it was so foggy you couldn't see anything. And then there was just a beautiful mist rising up from the lake everywhere and over the trees and kind of blowing across the lake and it was really surreal. Once the sun got intense and the wind picked up, it all dissipated, but it's just shaping up to be another beautiful day in paradise here. So nice. And I am just loving this spot right now. We're so lucky to be able to have this, just like not even a lot of work to get here. I mean, it was hard work, but this isn't like the most vigorous trip. Just such a beautiful place. And honestly, doing that little bit of extra work really makes it almost more enjoyable in a lot of ways. Uh, it's a little adventure and you get that exercise and you know, there's something different every day. And today, I think what we're gonna do, we just love this spot so much, I think we're gonna stay put here today. And we're gonna do a day trip down around an island called Caribou Island. And we're gonna visit some pictographs today. There's actually some ancient pictographs. I think they're about five to 7,000 years old. Um, and they're really cool, so hopefully we can locate those. I'm um, excited to show Heather them. Uh, have you, you've seen one pictograph before, right? Eh? We saw a couple right. in Algonquin, yeah. Right. I'm excited to see these ones. Unfortunately, there's no caribou on Caribou Island either, in case you're wondering. No, but there actually <laughs> used to be caribou in this region. Um, yeah. And so a lot of names uh, still reflect that and there's petroglyphs that are actually like chiseled into the rock. And some of the animals, there's distinctive moose, and then there's other animals that look, in my opinion, quite distinctively like a caribou. Yeah. The antlers are very much like a caribou, and there would have, of course, been caribou here at that time. Just nothing but gorgeous views all around us. It doesn't really get better than that. We're just loving this site. 
What do you suppose lives in there? Wow, that's a really cool hole. Looks like it was drilled out. Even though it's not that big, it's growing out of sheer rock, like literally sheer rock. And uh, a sign that it's, it's old growth is typically that it's hollow inside like that. And this one definitely is, and it's still alive. And even that branch that's hollow is alive, so pretty cool. So we made this um, granola. Heather got this product called Magic Oat, and basically you just put water and the required amount of scoops of the Magic Oat powder, shake it up, and it makes you milk. Yeah. Oat milk. And it's like delicious. It's a real treat. Yeah, it's oat, not goat. A couple lot better than powdered milk, I'll tell you. Yeah. Lick it a belly now, lick it a belly. Lick that bowl, lick that bowl. Come on and lick it with your sticky tongue, sticky tongue. Make that bowl all clean, make that bowl all clean. Oh, what do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Is that your food? Is it back this time? Is it oh, <laughs> Well, Heather and I have left with just stuff for a, a day trip. Quite the beaver lodge. Look, there's the entrance. Oh yeah. Be cool to, to uh, take a little robot thing up into there, right? Eh? Yeah. It's entering the bigger part of Chinaguchi here. And uh, wow, is it ever beautiful. The one inlet is where we just came out of and it's much more blocked by the wind. So we're gonna head downwind on the bigger part of the lake with a tailwind and then going against the wind, we're gonna come back up through the channel, so. But I'm glad we came out here because this is spectacular. This is lovely. Yeah. Be an awesome hike, eh? Yeah. It looks like not too steep. You could walk up it and just have an epic view the whole way. Lunchtime. Using my trusty GEP knife. Yes, it's durable. Yes, you can baton with it, but pretty badass peanut butter spreader. Check this out. With the size of the blade, you get solid globs. It's a solid glob. You just smudge that on. Not much better for smudging peanut butter than this bad boy. Mmm. Machete sized peanut butter spreading. Cheers. <laughs> what did you find? Just some driftwood. I like finding strange things in nature like this. Where the branch was. <laughs> kind of looks like an airplane propeller. Yeah. Yeah, 
does look like a propeller. Yeah. Heck of a nice beach here. What a beauty lake. Oh, it feels like an animal. <laughs> Touch it. It feels like a dog leg. It would be like an amazing thing to wipe your ass with. <laughs> Love it here. So nice. Heather's discovered something. Is that a deer blind? Yeah, so you can climb the tree with it. Oh, okay. So they literally just left it here. This is uh, probably for moose. Or bear. Probably someone left this here. This, these are not cheap. Kind of weird. We cut branches off going up. Probably for moose, I would imagine. Other discover this uh, climber. I'm a little nervous because it's rusting a bit. Don't this fall. I am climbing. Don't fall to your death, please. And then you got this platform here. You just sit here. Like, cool. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, trophy moose, biggest moose ever shot in the world. Uh, but I tranquilize it and I'm just gonna take a cast of its penis and let it go. Nice. Big old white pine here. Beautiful. Well, we just had a really nice long extended lunch and explored that beach and we are headed off now to see if we can find these pictographs. Do you see them? I don't see them yet. Found him. Give him a splash. Nice. Notice how it's exactly canoe height? Yes. Thunderbirds. See the, this one here? This? Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't know what this is, but this one looks like one of those, like, kind of the Thunderbird, like this. Pretty cool. And there's something else here. And then up here, this almost looks like a big fish to me. Uh, not really sure. And another one here, maybe. That sounds like a fish. This here, too. This one up here. Notice how these are exactly at canoe height. Not sure what that is. Up, it almost looks like a big elephant or something. Oh, wow. That's super cool. How there's all these smooth divots out of the water. Right. It's like, like an ancient river. Yeah, because it's so smooth. Beautiful. I bet you there's more down below, but you just, they're gone. Really cool that someone was floating here, definitely in a, a canoe, I'd say. And uh, right at canoe height and drew these about five to seven thousand years ago, I think. Is that thought like lichen? Oh, yeah, there's lichen. Well, we just saw some of the uh, pictographs on the rocks there, and it was really, really cool. I've only seen pictographs once before in Algonquin Park, so uh, it was really neat to see them. They're just thousands of years old, and uh, I just think there's just something so cool about that. They were actually just rediscovered back in uh, 2008. So it uh, just goes to show that you can always discover new things out here on these trips. Look at this view. Oh look, there's the rock signatures. Oh yeah, let's check it out. So these are old rock signatures from an old Kiwaden camp. Um, People wouldn't do that anymore. It would be considered vandalism. But I guess they're old enough now. They're kind of cool. WD Ballerina. Beans wants to twirl with you.
Good girl. Good. That's Dean's version of a twirl. Dean's twirl too. Good girl. This is a campsite and is it ever a beautiful one? We'll have to come back and camp here one day. Well, I would imagine whoever drew those pictographs also would have likely camped here. More of these rock signatures. This was done in 1939 to 40 that year carved in so those are the old camp he weighed in from back in the day i guess they did stuff like that but people don't typically do that anymore um i mean they do but it's frowned upon but now that they're that old they're kind of they're a little bit cool i suppose but i uh i wouldn't recommend doing it anymore Although in like 10,000 years, maybe these will be considered petroglyphs and you know, if my name was there, maybe it'd be like, yeah, you know? <laughs> You're like, who is this Ted Baird and what language is this? I know, but there's a good fish in here. It's like sandpaper. It looks like some sandpaper. Look at that tree. I feel like it needs a Sanko thrown at it. Fish Haven branches. Very, very likely a five pounder sitting in there, you know? Him the net, man. Get the net! <laughs> it's huge! Get the net, man! Hurry up! That was a really panicky getting it in the boat. Grab the actual fish. <laughs> oh, oh like I need to get it out. Wow. Yeah. Tank bass. much it weighed but that was up there with one of my personal best. Uh, this is an absolute tank. It just hit so hard. I just had this like adrenaline. I just knew it was this epic fish. Was your heart jack hammering? Hammering. <laughs> the net wasn't ready and I was a solid category five bungle on my part trying to get the net out. I'm like this could be like a freaking seven pound once in a lifetime fish. And I bungled the net. Turns out it was probably like a four pounder, so it was definitely net worthy. But I managed to actually grab the fish and haul it in the boat. Even with Bella's antics, which are just yeah. <laughs> absolutely insane. I knew it was a big one once, yeah. once I had yeah. it on the line. It's an awesome day. We paddled around Caribou Island, got off and visited some other campsites that we scouted out. Saw some amazing pictographs, which was really cool. And my highlight of the day was catching that tank bass. So fun. We did about uh, 11 kilometers. Now we're gonna get back to camp. I've got some dinner. Camp pizza's on the menu tonight. Feeling good.
we are doing camp pizzas but this time we are doing it with nan instead of the pitas we've got garlic and cilantro so i'm excited about that we'll see how it goes uh, the nan's a little thicker than the pitas and we fold the pitas in half sort of like calzones where i'm not sure if we can do that with these we'll see but you know we're going to experiment with this and I, I feel like you know it's going to be a win regardless we've got old cheddar we've got red pepper and we've got pizza sauce so you can't go wrong with all those ingredients right You wouldn't be thinking about eating any of the camp pizzas, would you, Billy? Not one bit. No. <laughs> Look at snout right in there. Maybe if, oh, she got a piece. It worked. You realize that was a Jedi mind trick she pulled on you, right? <laughs> If she stared hard enough and long enough, the peppers will just fly into her mouth. <laughs> the other pitas we were used to using are twice the girth. It's <laughs> these ones. Is that good for sauce? Is it okay to use the word girth or should we use circumference? You guys tell me. One. <laughs> Hold on. One. <laughs> okay. Two. <laughs> three. Yeah. Not bad. Honey, hello, my ragtime girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Nice. That girl is sick. Bella has given up on her pursuit of camp pizza for the time being and has taken the ground pad. But she will be back begging, I am sure. Probably. Nice. Ooh, the ooey gooey and nothing but. Crispy. Pizza burger. Yeah, it's like a pizza quesadilla. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. Just have a seat on the dining room chairs here. <laughs> it's not easy to eat, but it's really good. So the thing that makes this really satisfying, though, is that me and Heather harvested and grew the food ourselves <sighs> just on this trip. We did that all off camera, though. We made the cheese. We actually captured and farm raised some deer, milked them, made cheese, and then we grew a red pepper, um, just one. And then we, one. this um, bread, we made out of a cattail flour. Bushcraft bread. I have to say it was pretty good. It was really yummy. However, I think that we still prefer the pitas over the nan. Nan is a little too thick in my opinion. And with the double nan, it's just a little too much bread, I think. The pitas are a little bit thinner and you can kind of fold them in half and they just seem more crispy and calzone and not, not as bready. But it's still delicious. And what's nice about this is it's not the regular nan, it's the garlic and cilantro one. So that added a nice flavor to it. So because it was the garlic and cilantro one, I'm going to give it a four. If it wasn't, my rating might be a little bit slower. Oh. Bella says five stars. Five stars. Let me test it. Let me test it. I'd have to agree with Heather. Some people might prefer this. We prefer the pita. The pita is a little more brittle, but it, it gets really crispy and you bite it, you're like... Kr. Right. And then, you know, so both are kind of messy, but... Delicious. Alrighty. Well, it was a great day. Really enjoyed uh, how we played this this time. 
not a super vigorous trip, but enough of adventure and change of scenery and beautiful scenery at that to really make it something special. I really like our decision of what we did today that we stayed put in one spot and we did and a day trip adventure that was about 12 kilometers of paddling. That was a great way to do it. And then we had that extra time to really explore and relax uh, without having to take up and put down camp, but it still felt like we didn't just sit at camp. We did a pretty big adventure today. So I like that. And tomorrow, hopefully it's as nice as it's been so far, because man, has it ever been nice. Just an absolutely spectacular, beautiful area this is. Uh, the Chinaguchi Waterway in Tomogamy um, is uh, world class. Catch you in the morning. for breakfast I'm having plain oatmeal yay and Heather's having cold pop tart we have some yummier stuff uh, we have pancakes with cinnamon and apple and blah 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 but we want nobody got time for that yeah we want to get on the water almost ready to go it'll be sad to leave this site Chinaguchi Lake was really nice yeah, to us yeah I love this site it's just so gorgeous Campsite. So long, Island. It's been 12. Thank you for being so good to us. I ever had a great time out here on Chinaguchi. We just had a lovely island campsite. Caught a huge fish out here. And I've just absolutely loved this lake. It's just so pretty. Definitely will be coming back here one day. Taking a break here. Always helps when there's a place where you can lean the canoe a bit so you don't have to haul it back up onto your shoulders again. All right. That is a giant red pine. 
around surrounding Wolf Lake area is the largest remaining old growth red pine forest left on the planet. And here's one of them here, absolute beauty. Um, but it's not always about the size of the tree. Uh, here, a lot of the time it's very rocky. There's not a lot of fertile soil, so they don't get so big, but they're actually hundreds of years old. Pretty freaking amazing, so hopefully you don't mind there, because you know, when it's the last of something, you just leave it alone. Come on, man. Check out this giant white pine. What an absolute beautiful tree. What a beautiful forest. In the boat. This is an old logging era dock here. Kind of cool. Look how awesome these cliffs are. Nice, babe. Just smells absolutely amazing. It's so fresh and pure, and I was getting a bit of that, like the purest mist smell from the falls yeah, there. Yeah, from the falls mixed with the trees, right? Mm -hmm. It's our favorite smell. Mm -hmm. It smells so good in this forest. All these pines, 
pine needle floor. My favorite floor, forest floor to walk on. Looks like someone lost a crock. Ted is gonna wade the canoe down, it's super shallow. But to avoid this portage, I'm just gonna walk it while he wades down. So cool in here. Look at those ferns growing right out of the rock. This is a really neat little trail. Are we on a nature trail? to the end of this trail. We're gonna connect with Ted here back on the river or after that little creek. What an evening. So beautiful. Going for an evening swim, Bells? Sounds like a good idea. Portages of the trip are done. What? So excited about that, but also very sad because that means our trip is coming to an end and I don't want it to end and I don't want to leave ever. But we still have another night of camping fun and all day tomorrow on Madame Agassi, we take our time and uh, yeah, and then we will be on our way. Watch out, Bella. Come on, Bella. It's a dog jam. Yay, how was the creek? Oh, it was fun. I was able to run down it standing at the start and then it got too shallow and I kind of ran a section and got stuck and then I had to skateboard. So do you want to take this out or? Uh, I guess we can check it out. I'm kind of liking this. Yeah, I'll check it out. <laughs> Home is set up for the night. I'm happy about that. It's comforting to know that our sleeping bags are ready to go, our warm clothes if we need them. It is supposed to rain overnight, so it's nice to have that task done and we can get to dinner and start enjoying our night around camp.
Well, are you just sitting there politely with the beef jerky wrapper? Yeah. Do you think that if you just hold it in the tip of your lips, it's not bad? If you just hold it in the tip, that you're not really doing anything bad? Is that what you think? Oh, is it in your tongue? Give me a Good girl. Is it in your tongue? Oh, thank you. I think we should cook the pasta on the stove. And that's where she goes. Does my face look weird? So weird. <laughs> so this time on Heather's Reviews, we are having mac and cheese but not just any mac and cheese. I'm going to be reviewing Cheetos mac and cheese. I couldn't resist. It might be a total fail, but it might be good. I don't know, Bella, what do you think? No? Chester wouldn't let us down. Chester, you know, like he's a little bit, a little bit sleazy, <laughs> but I feel like he's gonna deliver on Cheetos mac and cheese. <laughs> We're gonna give you know just straight up Cheetos an honest review, and you know we're just gonna try it for what it is. Um, if anyone wants to know, it is 320 calories per serving. What's the serving? The whole box, I'm assuming. No. Um, I don't remember. It's probably the same. I would imagine like everything nowadays. This says one box feeds a family of 78. <laughs> 78. Let's see how she tastes tinker around with a knife or uh, a fork that you're going to burn your hand on and be really upset about. So the longer the better, generally. And here we go. I'll just shave off the bark. Here you go, Heather. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's pull this off. Well, we don't have milk, so we have to use water. So we have to make sure we don't pour out too much when we drain it. I pour it on the fire just so that bears don't come around. I don't know, sure. It's starting to look like it's the color of Tito's. <clears throat> Oh, and I'm nervous because I'm so hungry. Hmm. Mm. Um, it's not quite like craft dinner, but I don't know if it really tastes like Cheetos either. Cheetos, the Cheetos has two different kinds, right? Like the soft ones and the crunchy ones, right? So I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit more like the crunchy flavor. Let me have another bite. Hmm. I like about this is I actually prefer these noodles over the Kraft Dinner ones. They're a little bit bigger, so I feel like you get more food. I like the spirals. But, hi Bella. I want the flavor of this all the time. It's nice to change it up once in a while from the original Kraft Dinner, but I don't think I'd, this would be my go-to all the time. Pretty good. You gotta have a second bite. Yum! It grows on you. It just gets better. Mine tastes ex exactly like Cheetos. Really? Yeah, it like tastes... Like the soft ones or the hard ones? Does it taste different? It tastes like Cheetos to me. Yeah? I got a... Um, a little bit. 
I got a piece of the um, stuff that didn't dissolve properly though, and oh. I really taste it. No, but even still, really like Cheetos. Even still, it tastes a lot like Cheetos. I'm saying this is delicious. It's good. It's it's a nice change from the original, right? One. I'd hundred percent get this again for camping. Yeah, I would too. Cheetos mac and cheese. I told you what's his Chester wouldn't let us down. <laughs> you wouldn't Chester let us down, Cheetos man. Came through. Thanks, buddy. Maybe we could give it like a solid, you know, three and a half to four. Four stars for camping. So if you're having a dinner party, you're not gonna wanna serve this. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. You're not gonna be like, wow, four stars, wow. I'm gonna serve that at my next Christmas dinner. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. However, after paddling all day, mm -hmm. portaging, not eating, only eating cliff bars, being, you know, in the wilderness for a while, for five days, you're gonna be like, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. Cheetos mac and cheese. Solid four stars. Way. Or if you're a six year old, you're gonna be like, yeah, I want Cheetos mac and cheese. I don't want Christmas turkey dinner. I want Cheetos mac and cheese, please. Mm, bold and cheesy. Bella's making off with the butter. Where are you taking that butter? What are you doing? Do you think that you could have the butter? Good girl. Thank you, thank you. Good girl. This time on Heather's Reviews, we are making peanut butter M&M protein pancakes. One for me, a couple for the pancakes. Nailed it. <laughs> First batch, epic fail. <laughs> Nailed it.
smelled it. Oh, it's some burning. Oh. Mm. <laughs> it's raw and burnt. <laughs> we like our pancakes raw and burnt. <laughs> And for those that say, how could it be raw and burnt? I say, this is oh, how. It can. This is how raw burnt. Burnt. wind has picked up. Heather and I have about nine and a half to paddle. But we're gonna have to hop some bays and go behind some islands. So I'd say about 10 kilometers to paddle. Oh, we're about to hit the water here on our last day. Hopefully the wind's not uh, too strong. We don't get wind bound. Uh, if we do, we'll just have to wait it out, I guess. Not the end of the world, but uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll have uh, safe travels back to our vehicle. Right. right. Come on, Bella. Lie down. Lie down. So we've just made it about two and a half kilometers. Not the nicest weather. It is hammering rain on and off really hard. Actually, I'm gonna bail here because the canoe's filling up a bit. Um, and uh, some strong wind gusts. So we're about to start in about a kilometer or so, we're getting into the bigger part of the lake. Uh, but the waves are already starting to build and the wind's picking up. So hopefully it's not too bad. Right now it's manageable. Uh, but uh, yeah, going going out with uh, a little bit of excitement, that's for sure. my uh, double blade here to help with these strong headwinds um, when it's gusting it's pretty hard to make any forward momentum and uh, it's exhausting and you kind of don't get it anywhere this is more tiring but at least we're moving so we're just kind of staying close to shore and ducking behind any islands we can and uh, avoiding the brunt of the waves and the wind as best we can. So right now we're in a bit of a calm stretch, but we still haven't even entered the larger part of the lake. Anyway, right here is not so bad. Yeah. 
take a breather. I'll show you where we are in the map. Island and then a yellow island. Oh yeah, 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 I see it. Sorry. Long green, yellow, yeah. Yeah, so we're we're just tucked behind that little yellow island there. Or the white triangle kind of. Yeah. This has not let up the rain pretty much all day other than brief little pauses here and there. Crossing one last large bay and then we'll be back to where we left our vehicle. Some pretty strong headwinds there coming back and torrential rains but we weathered the storm and we made it through but pretty slow progress. Took a little longer than it would have but everyone's safe and it was a fun adventure to be quite honest with you. It was a great way to cap it off because we've had we've had a pretty um, sunny, peachy, warmer than seasonal weather this whole trip. So even though it's warm today, it's still good to get a little, little kick in the ass, so to speak. Well, we're just on the home stretch here to the takeout. It has been quite the day of beast paddling into headwinds all day in the pouring rain. But that's okay because every other day was absolutely beautiful. Couldn't ask for better weather on this trip. So if one day is gonna be rainy, might as well be the last one, right? So what a trip we had though. Just absolutely amazing times out here with Ted and Bella. So much fun. Amazing fall colors, amazing temperatures, caught some huge fish, ate really well, just had an awesome adventure, swimming in the lagoon, checking out all these different little lakes, getting out and exploring, just the best times really out here. And yeah, my arms are feeling like jelly right now, so looking forward to getting back on shore, getting into some warm clothes, and uh, getting back home and thinking about planning whatever the next adventure is for us. Agreed. Until next time, paddle on. This is my first tree. Uh -huh.